Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DreamHack Winter. These are groups C and D currently underway. I am Rifkin, joined by my Insanity's Penguin on the casting, uh, I guess, real desk, whatever you want to call it. But spawning here in the lower left corner of the map, playing for the team property, it is Property Show. And his opponent spawning in the top right spawn location, a man who needs no in-depth intro uh, introduction. We have our red Protoss player playing for Wungjin Stars, the current world champion, SOS. Sending out an SOS. Let's hope Show can send out this SOS. <laughs> All right, I, I was going to start singing more, but I realized, no, our viewers don't need to be alienated that much today, but... No. All right, we talked a little um, about this before. Uh, show first off is playing on Yon, so a map that can definitely be considered Terran favorite. However, SOS, we could, you know, I really hate when people start referring to people by titles just for the sake of it, but I mean, the reality is it was recent. So it's worth noting that, you know, SOS did, he walked away from WCS, a champion. He walked away from Red Bull, second place. I mean, this guy, he is a tournament con contender and then some. And yeah. while I don't think any of his PvP experience that he's played along the way or PvZ will factor in this match, you got to keep in mind, he didn't get there through only PvPs and PvZs. Uh, SOS probably has a very impressive PvT in store. His PvT is his weakest matchup statistically, but I think when I saw the last statistics, still something crazy like 57%, which isn't crazy on its own, but when you consider that that's his lowest win rate, that's pretty insane. Um, we're gonna be seeing a Reaper opening from Show. He definitely doesn't want to play blind, and I love this against SOS He's... because SOS is another player who will do crazy, random, weird ass stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, well, whether but, it's um... cheeses or whether it's all in, I think one of the big things too is Show, I think, was expecting bl uh, Blink on this map. Not only did they put the uh, supply depot a little bit back because I stumble over English this morning, the Reaper Scout is gonna be key for seeing that coming. And of course, the biggest yeah. way to hold off Blink all ins is seeing it coming. You, you just cannot blind counter it. Even if you go for three racks, even if you get the early bunkers down, you just can't unless you know it's coming. Yeah. But you know, another thing about SOS though is that while he has some of the weirdest PvP and PvZ, he also plays a relatively standard PvT, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see this be a bit of a normal game, uh, and to just see him try to outclass Show on a mechanical level. Uh, meanwhile, we have a factory on the way up from Show. I'm very interested to see what he decides to do here. With this reactor here, uh, I would assume this could be many things. Uh, I, I, it looks to me like it could either be a Widowmine drop or it could also be uh, an 8 uh, an eight Marine I... drop with uh, Hellions and I think an, it... uh, an elevator. I think if he had seen the Oracle, we would have, like, if he had seen a Stargate down, we would have seen a Widowmine for sure, but. Mm -hmm. Hellions would certainly be cool. The question is how much does he dedicate? I would almost, uh, in best case scenario, love to see him swap and put on the reactor because Hellions are so hard for Protoss to deal with early on. You actually have to burn an overcharge if you want to minimize damage from it. Yeah, well, we, we will be able to see what he does now. We see Marines still being pumped out for now, so it does look like he's just going to be continuing on with that. And there's a Widowmine on the way, so Widowmine drops, definitely a possibility, a probability at this point. There's a Twilight Council coming up behind this, which yeah. on the one hand means that SOS can be getting aggressive with either Blink or DTs, but on the other hand, it also means that his detection is going to be very delayed. Yeah, of course, with no detection, it's going to make those Widowmines a little bit stronger, a little bit better, but as predicted, it will oh, wow. be Blink. And All right, so he's expecting an Oracle, uh, as show is. Based on where he's rallying this, uh, this Widowmine, he's burrowing it behind his mineral line. He really is expecting an Oracle here. Uh, Widowmines, though, are... They're not going to help him so much against a blink all in. Maybe and not. this isn't what necessarily we... an all in, but well, you got to keep in mind too. I mean, they will take out one of the stalkers, so it's not like it's useless no, because having because you can blink away. You can bait the window line and blink away and take no damage. Oh, that's right. I forgot you did it with blink. You disjoint the attack, but show unfortunately did not get to get in there and see the back of the base. I mean, if he's crazy enough to scan, great. But I don't think he's going to. So he's right. got. Well, actually, whoa, this is like a really early Siege Tank, something you don't characteristically yeah, see in this matchup. Yeah, this, match this is good for him. Uh, siege Tanks are very, very good against Stalkers. Stalkers' armored units do take extra damage. This is not all in from SOS. He's going to be getting three, oh, wow, four gates with Blink, followed by DTs. Oh, okay, Show see this. Show's going to see this. Game. Show's going to see this. No, oh, he's just barely out of range. Okay, cancels the Dark Shrine before okay. Show got to see it. So actually, Show gets up here, and from his vision, all he sees is the words canceled. He didn't even see what was building. That was so cool. 
I think he may be able to assume that it was yeah. a Dark Shrine, but even so, the the Dark Shrine is still going to be coming down. Sho probably doesn't expect it now because it was already about a third of the way done, and it's kind of weird to cancel it and put it back down again uh, if your opponent's going to see it, but well, um, actually, this is going to be late enough that, first of all, it's going to be later, so Sho has more time to deal with it if he does, if he does think it's coming, but... Well, that's hmm. what I was going to point out. Like, right now, we got Warp Tech, like, halfway finished. It is being critted like crazy, but... But the pylon's already down. I can't help but wonder if this was on purpose yeah. delayed to get gas out for the Dark Shrine or if this was accidentally uh, delayed because it's a cheap it investment. Yeah, it, it has to be an accident because he has four gateways and Blink is done. That, that yeah. must be a mistake. That's a big mistake from SOS. And he is going double forge behind this, so he's definitely going to be getting greedy with the upgrades. And there are no NG bays down yet, but wow, we see Sho playing mech, Rifkin. Uh, versus Protoss, in any other scenario, I'd say that's going to be weird, but... Hellbats are going to be great against the charge lots. I mean, we don't know. He doesn't know the charge lots are coming yet, of course, but they'll be great against the charge lots. Obviously, tanks necessary for the blink all in. I don't know if this was reactionary mech or if he was planning to do mech from the get go. I mean, he did get those tanks out really early. So part of me wants to say he was going to do mech from the get go, but uh, one thing I want to point out too this bunker, we didn't talk about, but this bunker in the middle of his base is actually incredibly important because if this was the blink all in, this is your vulnerable spot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, at this point, uh, Blink All In obviously not going to be happening. SOS is put a little bit behind by the fact that he uh, delayed that warp gate. He's had a harder time actually getting the units out. Uh, he's got a decent number of units, but oh, oh my. We're going to be seeing a charge lot Archon All In. And honestly, I don't think this is going to work out. Very like, SOS could pull some magic, but siege tanks are going to be pretty, pretty solid against this. Widow might even picks off a stalker there it's, a, it's the exact opposite of what you talked about earlier so blinking away yeah. blinked into it but you know the charge on Arkham would be really good if show was going bio let's be honest but yeah, because he's going mech the hellbats even without blue flame are great for fighting zealous all zealous do is charge into their own death siege tank he's lines are going to be established even. like hellions can kite the if he sees the move out hellions can kite all the way back to his base no, no there's blue flame dude he is set like there's no way Charge Shot Archon works on this. If, if SOS dedicates to this, he's going to lose that fight. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean he loses the game. We can see him still advancing his tech template archives and such on the way, but in a straight-up fight versus Mag, Zealots don't cut it. Just straight up. It doesn't matter what you have behind them because the Zealots are meant to soak hits for whatever they're guarding. And if they don't soak hits, then whatever they're guarding is going to go down, whether it's Mag or whether it's Bio. All right, looks like we're going to be seeing, seeing a third Nexus, and uh, show, uh, or, or rather, SOS has confirmed that it is mech, so definitely doesn't want to go for an all-in into this. Um, the Stalkers will be able to pick off one of these Blue Flame Hellions, move, or not quite Blue Flame Hellions, but uh, we have out. a double Robo being added on. But this has only been identified now as mech. This is a very, very late uh, reaction from SOS. He's going to be so low on his Robo units, uh, actually, this could actually bite him. Well, what's going to be problematic too is while we got the double robots, he's obviously going to be investing in immortals initially instead of colossus. But hellbats are actually pretty good against immortals. They don't take the bonus damage. They soak a lot. You kind of you have to kite them as as the Protoss player, which is again not an easy task to perform. No, not at all. And uh, I mean, SOS is down 40 supply, and you're generally down against a Terran player. But you want to be in a much better economic position if you're playing against Mac. And his third base is so late. Uh, and as a result, I mean, we have a move out looking like, looks like Sho wants to get active on the map, and that could actually be pretty decent for him. I mean, he's got some Hellbats in here, Blue Flame is done, if he hits with plus one, there will be two or four Immortals, which is pretty decent, but it's not a huge number. No, it looks like he actually just wants to move out to take a third. The Thor's an interesting choice. It's not a unit that's particularly good for Spurtoss in general, I mean... A lot of stalkers will tear it down, immortals will tear it down, but what it does do is have oh. 400 health. Oh god, a blink into the main here. Uh, we'll lose two stalkers immediately, but it is actually doing pretty good damage here for SOS. Uh, these will not get out with their lives. If they blink down, they're going to run into that entire army. Another stalker going down to the low ground. Actually, it looks like he's going to try to get out with his life, but even more tanks sieged up here. Very, very nice positioning here for Sho on all of his units. All of these stalkers going to die. They get some damage done, but I don't really think that was 100% worth it. On the other hand, the Stalkers aren't going to be that it's... useful in his army composition later on anyway, so it's not so bad. And it's a really low-cost investment. He's still killing SUVs, by the way. Show's not yeah. finishing this off. All right, well, what do we have going down now? Four Starports, Rifkin. It is sky time. Oh, my God. Show, what are you doing? 
This no, is amazing. No, I love this because the new upgrades. I know will they make combine. This guy is so good. So uh, good. I would love to see him just show? go quadruple banshee, like oh. not permanently, obviously. Hang on. But like get like eight banshees out with plus two. Well, that's what against this army. Okay, that'll be a fantastic because it's not going to be stock. It's not going to be anti-air. But I was going to talk about. It. Yeah. Show us a rebuild. He's actually oh, going to get banshee. Right there. He's getting a banshee. Come on, get three tech okay. ups. Okay, so do it, do it. banshees are going to be really good against the immortals. Period. The, not only because there's no AI, they actually attack twice, so they'll strip the hardened shields very quickly. These zealots, again, not a threat because of the blue flame hellbats or hellions. Either or, they're both great against uh, zealots. But oh. show out of position, pushing across oh. the map. Mm. This is going to be weird. But on the other hand, uh, if he can get enough banshees out, there is a chance he can just hold at home while Feedbacks. killing his opponent with the banshees. Feedbacks will be problematic here. But they yeah, will, you're right. but There's they won't kill them because they won't spawn up that much energy. And I here think... comes Sho barreling down the front. I think Sho, yeah, this is looking really good this for him. Banshee's weird. about to pop. It is super weird. Production going to come out here too. Hellbats in a pretty good spot. And we see them doing a ton of damage to the Zealots initially. Uh, of course, has to pull back a little bit. Meanwhile, pushing the front base of uh, SOS. Knocks down that Nexus right away. Oh. Pushing to the third as well with a small contingency. You know, so they can focus on the main. The Immortals have come out, but these siege tanks are sieged. And this is kind of that critical mass where, yes, there's hardened shield, but one volley will strip the shields. We have only one uh, Starport can continue producing Banshees. One has one queued up, though. There is an Archon in here. No Cloak, though. I would kind of like to have seen him try to produce Cloak, but I understand why he didn't want to because chances of it finishing are very low. The Archon will take out this one Banshee. That's no. a bit of an unfortunate what? happening. Oh, okay, turns around. But, oh no, DT's in the army! Oh, There's and all no the commanders stand. are lifted! He's gotta land he to actually to scan! Land. He needs to land! Oh, he's SOS building a turret! He's, the army. he's building a turret! <laughs> he's building a turret in the face of SOS! It gets blown he up. Needs this. To scan. He no, there's a turret. Energy. There's a turret. There's a turret already, Penguin. You're like, oh, there is. There he is. does need to scan. Let's that's go. for sure. But he's got a turret down, so it's not like he's screwed versus the Dark Templar. But this suddenly went from being a really good position for Show to a not good position at all. No, I mean he's got a very good siege position here. He's lost his Lotus production. Is coming up. If he ever unseizes, uh, SOS can just kind of go for it. SOS's army supply is not that much bigger because he does have a lot more workers, but it's still 20 supply bigger. And I mean, this is going to be really, really difficult to deal with for show now. Well, as far as the base trade goes, unfortunately for him, SOS does have another Nexus up, but he's not utilizing it. Banshee does come forward, and actually, there's no anti air again. Now, warping oh, some wow. stalkers, but feedback does nothing. Oh, actually, ah, just down enough. It goes. You know what, show. Well, it would have been so good in this position. Show can start either muling or scanning if he wants to. Oh. Look where he brought his new base, protected by the army oh, to the natural of yeah. SOS. Of course, that's really nice, actually. I like that a lot. SOS can't push into this, guys. Like, this is what's so scary. There's so many tanks. Yes, there's hardened shield on that immortal, but it's not going to be enough. The Thor will take it down as well. Shoots twice, hits hard. Mm. Oh, yeah. The tanks are not in the greatest of positions here. They're in a great position to keep the army that's in the main in the main. But they're not in the greatest position to right, hold off the army that's coming from the south. There is Absolutely. a Widowmine here. Uh, it's gonna not activate on the hallucination. That's very, very lucky for a show. Maybe he can get a free kill on one of these units. But with four immortals, this is gonna be tough. Is he gonna lift? No lift comes down. The He's mine still got activates. Command centers, though. He's still got command centers on the side of the map. Uh, the tank goes down. Is he gonna kill off any of the big units? No! The Archon escaping with almost no health. There is another base here. There's a lot of bases. These two are both producing SCVs. This game is so wonky right now. This Thor has to be careful. I mean, again, this, this Immortal Count cannot be underestimated. If show pincers and comes from two sides, honestly, I think it can break this because the Sea Shanks have such a low rate of fire. Yeah, there's only five Hellbats here as well to tank. That one Thor is not going to tank very much against the actual Immortals. Like, it'll be nice. Oh, but he's producing a Banshee and he's producing Widow Mines two at a time. <laughs> here we go, though. All right, Hellbats have got to be in position, but they have to split. And he doesn't quite let them. He just kind of does the auto attack thing. And because of that, he's going to lose his entire army. Now, unfortunately, both players kind of re resetting off of this. The difference no, is Sho like, doesn't have an army. But like, Sho has potential Banshees with Cloak researching. And with no detection on the field, like, he can put down a cannon, yes. But if he gets super, super lucky... There's still an, a minuscule chance that Sho might be able to pull uh, to somehow, some way, turn this around. But the problem 
Is that, well, actually, he, he has scans, so he can detect this DT. Does well, he have to move Yeah, again. the Banshee's, the, the cloak's not going to be done yet. And uh, he'll lose all of these SCVs, most likely. He'll be able to lift and get away, but he actually has another base already landed, so if he can get away with these SCVs, it'll be pretty nice. Um, one Banshee's done, second Banshee about halfway done. Should finish a little bit after Cloak does. You know, whether, um, whether it was that he moved out at the wrong time, or like he should have come back from that base trade, one way or another, like... Man, I really thought Sho had this at a point, you know, just like completely yeah. in the bag. But, alright, gonna tap out, good game. Wow. Honestly, like, if he'd had, a, if he'd scanned those DTs initially without them taking <laughs> out so much of his army, he may have had that game. That was really, really cool. Initially, like, in, until he started losing. And then it was sad. Well, we'll see if uh, he can mech it happen in game number two. This is the best of three, guys.